The best way to unwind and end your day on a positive, thankful note, no matter the circumstances are, is with a night prayer. At the end of a stressful day, if you're drawing a blank on what to say to God, these peaceful night prayers are a great place to start. No matter what you face today, talking to God through a night prayer will renew your faith and help you experience true rest. Evening prayers also help you reflect on all the events throughout your day and the ways that God has been present with you. Your word says in Philippians 4 verse 6 and 7, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Let us pray. Father, thank you for today, for all the ways in which I have known you, for the sunrise and the bird song, for the music I've heard and the things I've enjoyed, for the meals and for the home I live in, for my close family and for my special friends. Most of all, thank you for being beside me through each moment. May I dream good dreams and arise again tomorrow to thank you once more. In this moment, I recall all the times when you have been faithful to me, for you are a rock beneath my feet and a secure fortress around me. Come guard my heart, protect my mind, and cover my whole being with your love. I place my trust in you. Heavenly Father, my day is drawing to an end, and I'm ready to turn in. But before I do, I have to thank you for your faithfulness today. It's always a good day even when things may not go the way I plan, or when the world seems to be in chaos because you are in control. For all the times when I was aware of your help today, all the times when your unseen presence seemed so near, thank you. God. But for all the ways you have worked behind the scenes, unknown to me, moments when heaven sent angels moved on my behalf in ways I'll never know, thank you for those also. I am placing my soul and my body in your sanctuary this night, O God. In your sanctuary, O Christ Jesus. In your guidance, O Spirit of perfect truth. The three who would defend my cause, nor turn their backs on me, Father who is kind and just, Son who overcame death, Holy Spirit of power, keep me this night from harm. The three who would justify me, keep me this night and always grant me a good night's sleep tonight, so I can awake refreshed and ready to begin another day loving you. Thank you again for blessings so undeserved and too numerous to count. I love being your child. When I awake in the morning, may it be a joyful smile, not a grumpy spirit. May your protection and your presence bathe this place with peace and safety against the enemy. Lord, sometimes I feel uncertain about what I'm facing. Please guide me and help me cope with what is unfolding. Please also grant me the peace that only you can give. Amid my worries, please come alongside me and sustain me. I know that I can put my trust in you. Please grant me reminders along the way so that I do not become overtaken by the unknown. Please help me to wake with a fresh and renewed perspective. God, sometimes life gets me down and I find hard to see things to be thankful for. Open my eyes to see the gifts you've given in my life. I'm going to start by thanking you for loving me enough to come to the earth and die so that we can live together forever. Lord, help me to focus tomorrow on what really matters. I'm so grateful for another end of the day. Please help me keep that spirit of gratitude as I face the ebbs and flows of life. Help me to see the good in the bad and the happy in the sad. Renew my spirit, guide me in your truth and teach me for you are God, my savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Lord, I do not know what lays before me tomorrow and the rest of this week, but I commit it all to you. Please give me strength and courage to get through the joys, challenges, and happenings of the day. 
I thank you for my life and for all that I have. I commit this day to you. No matter what happens, I know you have me in the palm of your hand. God, when I am weak, I know you can make me strong. Please guide me, mold me, and make me into the person you want me to be. Please guide my heart and strengthen me if and when trials come into my path. Lord, please give me wisdom not only to journey through my own day, but also to help others around me navigate their journey. Help me, Lord, to follow your command to love you and to love others. I need your guidance to live out the day and to honor you, Lord. We ask for your huge peace to surround us tonight. All of us who feel restless and worried right now. Those who have been carrying big burdens and shouldering stress. Help us to lay it down before you. Even though we're struggling to really let go. Remind us that you can carry it so much better than we ever could. May your power and your rest fill us fresh. May the presence of your spirit breathe hope deep into our soul even as we sleep. We choose to find rest in you. We choose faith over fear. Lord, we confess to you that sometimes our worries seem too big. We don't see a way out of our current circumstances and we can't understand what you're doing. But we know that you see the big picture and thank you that you are with us in it all. Help us to trust you more. Thank you for your reminders that you are surely with us. Thank you that through every weakness and hard place, your strength is displayed in our lives. Lord, we can't do it on our own, but you can work miracles in us and through us. Forgive us for the times we tried to do things in our own strength, getting too easily distracted or forgetting our need for you. Forgive us for letting fear and impatience control us or for allowing pride and selfishness to dictate our choices. Forgive us for not following your ways or for living distant from your presence. Cleanse our hearts and renew our minds in you as we lay it all to rest. We ask that you would provide for our needs even as we sleep. We pray for your huge grace and favor. We thank you that you never sleep or slumber, that you're always at work, even in the dark of night. We pray for your blessings to cover us, that you would make every plan you've birthed in our hearts to succeed at just the right time. We pray that you would be opening doors, clearing pathways, closing the wrong roads, and setting up our way for tomorrow. We ask for your hand to cover us and keep us distance from the evil intent of the enemy. That you would be a barrier to surround us and we would be safe in your hands. We pray for your healing and grace to encircle us in every need and for your comfort to cover us when we feel deep loss. We ask for your angels of protection to surround our families through the night. Help us to be alert to your spirit that our hearts would be eager to hear your voice as we awaken. We pray you would make us strong and courageous for the road ahead. Help us to feel refreshed deep down in our souls and to be faithful to walk in the wisdom of your word. Give us a desire for more of your presence, Lord. Help us to remember to rely fully on you, fixing our eyes on Jesus. We ask for your words of truth and power to strengthen us in our inner being. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you that you know the way we take and that you have a plan. We love you, Lord. We need you and we thank you that we can rest in your perfect care. In Jesus' name, Amen. At the end of every day, when it's time to go to bed, there's nothing better we can do than give it all to God. To lay down our worries and cares. To thank Him for His blessings and His presence through every hour of the day. To recognize the way He has led us. Offered protection over our families and provided for our needs. And though often we know that to be true, it can be difficult to really let everything go. 
or we forget to even give him thanks for the constant way he is at work in our lives. We carry the worries and stress straight to bed with us. We hold on to the wounds and hurt feelings. We wrestle for sleep but can't seem to turn off the spinning thoughts of to-do lists, schedules, and what we still need to get done for tomorrow. There is no better place to turn than a bedtime prayer to surrender and let God be God. We feel exhausted, worn, tired of fighting and struggling with defeated thoughts. None of us are immune, and often there is not even just one big thing, but just lots of little battles that can drain us dry. Parenting, marriage, job, relationships, fears, worries about the future, experiencing loss, discouragement, illness, money problems, it all can leave us beaten down and worn. And the enemy seems to fight hardest when he knows we're already weary. God's word gave us assurance in Psalms chapter 46, verse 1 and 2. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. And also, verse 10 and 11, he says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. God's very presence and the truth of his words are the only things that can bring deep peace to our souls. The peace he gives is the kind of peace the world can't offer. The kind of peace that doesn't make sense even to our minds. When we pray before sleep, we give space to allow God's word of peace to speak over us. Now let us pray. Heavenly Father, at this hour of the night, I choose to draw nearer to you. Thank you for guiding me through this day and for the beauty of your light and for your love that chases after me. I know you hear my prayers and that I am not alone. Through the dark hours, I am reminded that you came to be a beacon of light. Thank you that right now your splendor illuminates my heart, mind, and soul. So I choose to open my life to your warmth and protection. I lay before you every fear, concern, and sorrow that I feel. I come before you as I am. Nothing is hidden from you, Abba Father, for I am safe in you, held by your grace, destined to live in heaven with you. I call upon you, O Lord, great master of the universe and creator of all things. You are my protector. You are my refuge. You are my fortress and the strong tower in which I dwell. I declare that I am your child, loved and accepted that I live in your grace and stand upon holy ground. I will fear no evil, for I live within your kingdom of light, and at this hour your presence is within me by the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord Almighty, may I reflect your wonderful heavenly glory. May I be a light bearer here on earth, a beacon to the lost, a lantern of hope to those in despair, and a flame of truth and justice to a broken world. Show me how to remain in you, flowing with your words, reflecting your heart, and walking daily in forgiveness and grace. Thank you that in the stillness of this hour, I know deep in my heart that I am your child. I am safe with you, Lord. Today was a wonderful day. Thank you for allowing me to be your vessel in spreading your love and others through my actions today, in public, at work, and even in my own home. I was the salt and the light to many people today. I know there will always be unbelievers, but there are also lost people on very fertile soil. Lord, I pray that the seeds I planted today were on fertile soil. I ask that you water these seeds and reap a bountiful harvest. Thank you for this day, O Lord. 
I long to find true rest and so I come to you. As I lay down, I need you near to hold me all night through. Please help my mind to wind right down and guide my dreams to heal. O oh Lord, restore my tired limbs. Help me to find peace here as I close my eyes to sleep. Come help me to trust in you and all the loved ones I hold dear that you would hold them too. Lord, the night time flies so fast. May I be blessed with time and sleep that is deep and peaceful, a heavenly dream time. So as I crawl into bed tonight, I rest within your care and trust that you'll be beside me and hear my every prayer. Father, let your tranquility dwell among us and let your peace remain in our hearts. May our voices proclaim your truth and may your cross be the guardian of our souls. Lord, make us bold. Make us worthy to offer to you pure and holy prayer. God, grant your peace to us, for you have supplied us with all things. The peace of rest, the peace of the Sabbath, which has no evening. Keep us in peace during the night and at all times. Keep our hearts and thoughts secure in holy reverence for you, so that we may be protected at all times from the snares of the enemy. And let offer your blessings and glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Dear Lord, break me of the need to be busy pursuing a sense of self-worth. Make me secure in who you are and who you've made me to be. And as a result, teach me what it means to truly rest. Help me catch my breath. Lord, you alone are God, the gracious and merciful. You command those who love your name to cast away all fear and care and to lay their burdens on you. Keep us under your protection and give us now and always that everlasting rest, which you have promised to those who obey your word. You have promised us in Isaiah chapter 30, verse 15. This is what the Sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel says, in repentance and rest is your salvation, in quietness and trust is your strength. Heavenly Father, please hold those I love as they sleep, Bless them with peace that surpasses understanding. Sow in them hope that cannot be put out. Grow in them dreams and visions for their future and protect them with your unconditional love. Lord, help me to sift through the many experiences, feelings, and thoughts I have encountered today. I allow myself to rest, to wind down and to be still. Help me surrender all that I am to you my fatigue, concerns, my hopes and fears. As I sleep tonight, I choose to hold your hand. I choose to live with you. I choose to believe. I choose to trust. I choose you always. You know my worries and care for my troubles. So I give these heavy concerns to you. I lay these situations at your feet. The empty cross is a place of rest where I can reflect upon your resurrection and the moment when love overcame. Thank you that your love in me can transform the landscape of my life. I walk with peace into the new day and I put my hope in you. Nothing is outside your redeeming love. As I rest now, help me to acknowledge that you will light my path and guide my life. As the darkness draws in, you are the light in my heart. As the air turns colder, you are the warmth in my soul. As the stars are revealed, you renew my spirit. As the moon shines, I know I am held safe in your arms. Lord, please continue to pour out your gracious protection to my family and I this night. Defend us from all dangers and from the fear of all things that we may enjoy such refreshing sleep as may fit us for the duties of the coming day and the days that follow. 
I ask that you grant me grace to live in such a state that I may never be afraid of the arrows of the enemies. I am yours, Father. Today was a very tough day for me. I am stressed out about bills, finances, work, family issues, and the state of the world that surrounds me. I feel I am at the end of my rope and I don't know how to hold on. Life is out of control right now, and I am at the loss as to how to face another day. Lord, I need your stability right now. You are my rock. Please refresh my spirit with song, peace, and reassurance. Refresh my mind with your word. Refresh my soul within this prayer. Lord, I know you are in control and that you will make my path straight and iron out all of these trials. I place these all in your hands. I am ready to fall asleep and arise tomorrow morning renewed. But I can't help but think about the anticipation and anguish I have over life as a whole. But in the midst of my worry, I find myself thinking what heaven will be like. I imagine beautiful walkways where the saints talk and sing praises to you. I imagine the room that Jesus has prepared for me. As he waits for me to join him, I am reminded that I need not worry about tomorrow or what is to come, for you alone are my protector and my everything. Thank you for loving me so much, Lord. I am weak right now. There is so much going on in my life physically and emotionally that I feel like I am at my breaking point. I need your strength to make it through these times. Father, I pray that tonight while I sleep, you will refresh my mind and strength for tomorrow morning. I pray that you will watch over me as I dream peacefully and bring pleasant thoughts into my mind. Please be with me as I sleep so that my nighttime hours will be refreshing and calm. I give you my fatigue knowing that you can restore me. I give you my fears knowing that your love preserves me in every situation. I give you my dreams knowing that you will fulfill me. Any pain I may have in my body or my mind, I know that you can heal. Take my desires and make me more like you, Lord. I ask that you use me to bless my community and even the strangers that I see. Today has been a beautiful day because you were in it. I trust you for tomorrow too and all of my future. Keep my heart true to your faith and hold my mind on you and your will for me. I know you can see my future and I will trust you to guide the way. I ask these things in your precious name. Tonight, we will say a deep bedtime prayer. Let us meditate on the following Bible verses before we pray. Matthew chapter 6 verse 34 So, don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Psalms chapter 4 verse 8 In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, will keep me safe. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 24 When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Psalms chapter 3 verse 5 I lay down and slept, yet I woke up in safety, for the Lord was watching over me. Psalms chapter 121 verse 1 to 4 I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 and 29 Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. Psalms chapter 127 verse 2 It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, 
for he gives to his beloved sleep. Now let us pray. Good God, thank you for taking the lead throughout my day. Thank you for helping me overcome every temptation of evil. Thank you for taking control of my words and helping me to be a blessing to others. I thank you, Lord, for delivering me from these things that would trouble my rest and steal my happiness. I thank you for restoring my body and my soul as I sleep tonight. It was wonderful and an amazing day, and I enjoyed every bit of it. I bring to your presence my spirit, soul, and body as I end my day in a night's sleep. Lord, my Deliverer, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come against insomnia, restlessness, frightening dreams, sleep apnea, anxiety, and loud noises. I declare that none of these things nor anything else will disrupt my sleep tonight. I receive the blessings in your word that says no weapon formed against me will prosper. I am thankful because when you are for me, nothing can be against me. I thank you for your mighty power that defends and keeps me. And now as I go to sleep, I pray that you will fight for me through the night. Protect me from any attacks of the adversary that would disrupt my sleep. I pray in the name above all names, at which all things in heaven and earth and below must bow. Dear Lord, please sustain my rest through the night. Lately, it seems like the burdens of my day weigh me down through the nighttime hours. Help me fall asleep quickly and sleep peacefully through the night. I pray that you will help me to release all the responsibilities I'm dealing with right now and just relax in you, remain blessed in you, and wake up energized to face my day. Bless me with refreshing and restorative sleep. Help me not to be stressed about what tomorrow will bring. Remove all restlessness which keeps me up to watch the clock. May this room and this bed be a place of quiet rest. Lord. You are the provider of all good things. Melt away all my worries and concerns and do the same for my family and friends, far and near. I pray that I won't wake up obsessing about some minor thing. Help me to focus my thoughts on you right now. Help me to rest in the shadow of your wings and wake up a new person to continue living in your grace. O oh Lord, I am grateful that you have enabled me to reach this hour of rest. It has been a very challenging day, but you have seen me through it. I am weary and tired right now. My mind is full of anxious thoughts. Lord, help me find true rest in you tonight. Set me free from all these anxious thoughts and fill me with your peace. As I go to bed to rest, I ask you, God, to renew me emotionally, physically, and spiritually. May I wake up tomorrow refreshed and ready to face the day. Father, there are so many things I have done or said today that are contrary to your will. Forgive me. If I have opened any doors for any enemy in my life because of sin, Lord, shut them. Cleanse me with your blood of your dear Son and help me walk in your ways. Jesus, protect me from the terror by night and the pestilence that walks in darkness. I go to sleep knowing that no evil shall befall us this night, nor shall any plague come near my dwelling Lord. And as I go to lie down this night, I know that it is only you that makes me dwell in safety. Thank you for giving your angels charge over me. I go to bed knowing that they are watching over me. Thank you for your unconditional love. Thank you for your love and protection. Thank you for watching over my family and me throughout the day. Lord, I ask you to watch over us throughout the night too. Keep us safe from any evil that the enemy has planned against us this night. O oh Lord, I have been anxious the whole day, and to be honest, my heart is troubled. Lord, I do not want to go to bed feeling this way. Your word says we should not be anxious. But in prayer and supplications, we should make our requests known to you. I please everything that is making me anxious at your feet and choose to rest in your love tonight. 
Cover me with your arms of love all through the night and grant me sleep. Precious Father, I come before you tonight to ask you for forgiveness. There are so many things that I have done today that I am not proud of. Please forgive me, Lord. Teach me your ways and hide your word in my heart that I may not sin against you when I wake up tomorrow. Deal with my heart tonight and help me to be the light in the world that is full of darkness. Remove guilt from my heart and help me to sleep knowing that I am forgiven and restored. Dear God, as I lay down to sleep, I ask you to give me peace. I have had a very stressful day that has left me restless. Lord, I don't know what awaits me tomorrow, but I am placing everything in your hands. I will not let my heart be troubled because I believe that you will take care of everything as I sleep. May your peace, which surpasses understanding, fill and guard my heart against all the troubles of the night. Jesus, thank you for showing me how much you love me today. You have used friends, family, and colleagues to show me what love is all about. I am so grateful, dear Lord. I am sorry for complaining too much. May the meditations of my heart be pleasing to you tonight. God, send your army of angels to protect us tonight as we sleep. Destroy any plans that the devil has against us tonight and help us to sleep peacefully without any form of fear. As we go to sleep, send your angels to watch over them. Shield them from any manner of evil. Let this night be a peaceful one for them. Bless and protect them with your love, Lord. I lay down in my bed full of hope for tomorrow because you alone, O Lord, sustains me. Although life is full of challenges, I choose to believe and trust in you. I surrender all of me to you tonight. And I choose to rest in the warmth of your embrace, knowing that you are an ever-present help in time of need. Heavenly Father, I bring people from different parts of the world into your able hands. Some of them are sleeping hungry tonight, others are sick, and some are anxious. Lord, watch over them and be their source of comfort. Father, meet them at their point of need and give them sleep. For you give sleep to those that you love. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The time just before we go to sleep is the best time for focusing our hearts and attention on God. We can begin by giving Him thanks and perhaps ask Him for forgiveness for where we have failed Him, others, and ourselves. We can also meditate on His care and protection for the night ahead. We help ourselves have restful sleep when we pray and meditate to end our day. This is important for individuals, children, and families to remember. Praying helps us calm our hearts and minds and have good rest. When we turn our hearts and minds to God, we are able to relinquish worries and remember the blessings of the day. A good night blessing will usher us into the next morning with a peaceful heart. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the many blessings that you have given me today. Thank you for your love and protection. Thank you for watching over my family and me throughout the day. Lord, I ask you to watch over us throughout the night too. Keep us safe from any evil that the enemy has planned against us this night. God, we thank you for the day that is ending. You have given us what we need for today. We ask your blessings on us as we sleep. Send us peaceful dreams. We do not know what tomorrow will bring us, but you do. Thank you for holding us in your hands and keeping us from harm. Lord, we are so blessed to be part of your world. Thank you for the beauty that surrounds us in art and nature. You have provided rain and flowers and birds and animals. Help us see those around us with your eyes. Thank you for giving us hands to work, minds to think, and hearts to love. We ask you to care for us through the night so that we may awake to a new day of serving you. I put my trust in you, Lord. When the storms threaten, I trust. When worries attack me, I trust. If others betray me, I will trust in you. I believe you will watch over me as I sleep. 
You will refresh me when I wake. I know you protect me always and that you are here beside me as I end my day. You love me and I will trust in you to turn my sorrows to joy, my fear to resolve and to calm my anxious mind. Dear Father, I admit that I often forget that you are with me. I often forget that you are the great God both in, night, and day. I ask that you forgive me for my ignorance in accepting you wholly. I need to get to know you better. I need to get to know your word and your promises better. Help me to put you first in every area of my life. Help me to live one day at a time. Help me not to worry about tomorrow, but instead focus on what you're doing in my life right now. I want to trust in your promise to take care of every one of my needs. Financial, relational, physical, social, spiritual, and emotional. Help me to trust you more and worry less. Dear God, I pray for my family at this time. Please extend these blessings to them wherever they are. Bless my parents, kids, and siblings. Help them to understand that you are the only God who brings everlasting peace and rest. Help them draw closer to you day by day. Read and understand your word and live by it. God, I pray that your peace that brings blessings through the nighttime hours be bestowed on them. Bless my family and home and keep us safe through the night. May your angels guard us and watch over us, just like you promised. Dear Lord, it is time to rest my sleepy head. Often I feel like the burden of the day has found its way in my mind. I pray to you tonight to remove it. Remove anything that is not made by you, and please guide me down the path that is true. I pray that you bring me lasting rest tonight and a good night's sleep. Forgive me for the things I did today that did not honor you. Thank you for loving me so much that you know me through and through. I need your help every day. And I thank you for the strength you give and for helping me know that with you, even hard things are possible. You made me understand that I am just like a sheep and that you lead me and guard me like a shepherd. You know my name and you make me feel special and loved. When I am hurt, you help me feel better. Thank you for the Bible and for teaching me the things in life that helps me grow. Bless the people in our world and help them to know you and love them too. Thank you for all the people who helps us so much. Teachers, doctors, policemen, and firemen, and so many more. Dear Lord, you were the one that made the moon and the stars to shine by night and gave us the beautiful hours of the night in which to replenish our strength, repair our bodies, and refresh our souls. Help me, I pray, to take advantage of this God-given time. When the weariness of the day gives way to a peaceful night's sleep and the general renewals of our minds. Help me to use this time to a full advantage and not to sit up into the small hours of the morning, but gain full benefit of a complete night's rest, so that I may wake, refresh, and get up early to your praise and glory. Father, I pray that as I go to bed tonight, you would give me a peaceful night's sleep and help me to wake refreshed, ready, and willing to do your will. Thank you that you have given us this blessed time when our bodies and souls have an opportunity to be renewed, revived, and revitalized. Keep me throughout the nighttime hours under your protection, and may the angel of your presence encamped around me tonight. For I love and trust you to keep me from all evil. Grant me your perfect peace in my heart and give me such a knowledge of your closeness, Lord, that I may rest securely, sleep soundly, and sense that blessed assurance of your love and grace surrounding me. Heavenly Father, who gives rest to his children, please watch over my entire existence because you alone can see what we cannot see. Protect what I have worked so hard for. Protect my properties, car, and other material things that you have given me. As I lay down to sleep tonight, I ask that you would ease the load of the burdens I am carrying. My desire is to be an effective person, 
and I know my attitude, energy level, and spiritual life will not be sufficient to do this if I don't have the deep spiritual rest you long to give me. Be merciful to me, dear Lord, and give sweet sleep to your child. Lord, tonight I give thanks for my brothers and sisters worldwide and lift each one up, praying that you will all be there for each one needs. And Lord, as I settle down for the night and lift my hands and heart to you, I pray that you would give me and all your children the rest and refreshment that we need in the hours of darkness, so that we may be ready and prepared mentally and spiritually to face the rigors of the next day. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for today and thank you for all the good things that you have given me. Thank you for the gift of family and your blessings too numerous to count. I am sorry for the things I have said wrong today and the naughty things that I have done that were not kind. Help me to be like Jesus and to be good and to lean to like people that are mean to me. Thank you that you sent Jesus to die on the cross and to pay the price for my sins. And I am glad that you rose again so that I could be forgiven and go to heaven and to be with Jesus. Help me to sleep tonight and keep us all safe. Thank you that you are with me all night long and that there is nothing that needs to frighten me because I know that you are with me all the time. I am so glad about that. Thank you for everything. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you have kept me safely through another day. Forgive me, Lord, for the wrong thoughts and attitude that I have allowed to trouble my mind today. Forgive me, Lord, for the times that I have allowed pressure to take away the perfect peace I have in you. Lord, I hand the irritation of the day over to you and pray that I may rest quietly in your loving arms. Help me not to permit any of these daily pressures to affect the refreshing sleep of peace that you have given to me and to your children. I am sorry that I have allowed the troubles of the day to unsettle my heart and disturb the peace that I have in you. I pray, Lord, that I will not retain any wrong or damaging thoughts in my subconscious mind. But rather, Lord, I ask that my heart may be washed with the water of your word and filled with a healing balm of your love and truth. Thank you that your word is life and light. Into your hands I commit myself, Lord. As I settle down to sleep, wake me up tomorrow, I pray, ready to serve you. For your mercies are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Watch over those that are sleeping. Renew those that are weary. Refresh those that are tired. Heal those that are sick. Feed those that are hungry. Pity those that are affected and protect those that are in danger. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. A bedtime prayer is a perfect way to give thanks for the blessing of the day and to pray for hope for tomorrow. Even though you may have started your day off with a cup of coffee and a meaningful prayer, it is incredibly easy to get caught up in the chaos and the stress of the day, forcing you to end it on a low note. When you get home at the end of the day, it helps you to take a minute, center yourself and say a night prayer to God. This will help ease your mind, erase your worries and give you strength to finish out your week. Jesus knows exactly what you need at the exact moment you need it. So use this evening prayer as a way to give thanks to Him, especially if it happened to slip your mind earlier in the day. Or if you have trouble falling asleep, say a few words of scripture in the evening to calm yourself down. Soon, it'll become a nightly routine and you'll be ready to take on each day and the challenges that comes with it. Now let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for tonight, for the good day and for the special way you take care of us all the time. Thank you for the fun times outside and the quiet times inside and for helping us learn new things every day. Thank you for creating us special, exactly the way you want it. Thank you for protecting us throughout the day. Forgive us for the wrong things we do. Thank you for loving us even if we disobey or try to do things our own way. 
Help us to always choose your way, God, because it is always the best. We pray for all the people who do not know you and that they will come to understand your love for them too. Bless our family and thank you for the good times together and apart. Bless our friends and those we love, including our grandparents, our aunts, uncles, and cousins. Thank you for our home and a place to sleep and good food to eat. Help us rest well, give us peaceful dreams, and send your angels around our home to protect us throughout the night. Teach us to trust you, to love you more and more. You are good, you are great, you are a faithful God. Bless us with rest tonight, Jesus, and a good night's sleep. Forgive us for the things we did today that did not honor you. Thank you for loving us so much that you know us through and through. We need your help every day and we thank you for the strength you give and for helping us know that with you, even hard things are possible. Bless our family and our home and keep us safe through the night. May your angels guard us and watch over us just like you promised. You've told us that we are like sheep and that you lead us and guard us like a shepherd. You know our names and you make us feel special and loved. When we hurt, you help us feel better. Thank you, Jesus, for your good care and for giving us friends and family to help. Thank you for the Bible and for teaching us things in life that helps us grow. Bless the people in our world and help them know you. Love them too. Thank you for all the people who help us so much. Our teachers, doctors, policemen, and so many more. Thank you for the good plan for our lives. Help us to obey you and to love you more and more. When we awake in the morning, put a smile on our faces and your purpose in our hearts, ready to start a new day. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7 For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. O Lord, sometimes my insides feel like a battle zone where missiles are falling too close to home. Other times, I'm caught in an endless storm with thoughts flying out of control. Confusion reigns and defeat creeps in to steal my joy. I need your peace, the deep down in your heart kind that stays with me day and night and speaks confidently into the wind. I know that trust is a big part of experiencing peace and that fear has no place in my life. Most of the things I worry about or dread don't even happen. So I'm declaring my trust in you. I'm releasing the reins of my life again and asking you to take control. I may need to say the same prayer daily, but I'm tired of the frenzy of life that leaves my schedule and my thoughts without any margin. I need more of you, Lord, and less of me. I surrender and admit I can't control people plans, or even all my circumstances, but I can yield those things to you and focus on your goodness. Thank you for today and for every good gift you've given, every blessing you've sent, all the forgiveness I did not deserve, and yes, for every trial you've allowed in my life. You bring good out of every circumstances if I let go and believe in you. I know that when I pray and give thanks instead of worrying, you have promised that I can experience the kind of peace that passes all understanding. That's your kind of peace, Lord, and it's the kind I crave. Whenever I'm stressed, anxious, or afraid, help me to remember to run to you. You're the only one that can calm my fears and end my fretful behavior. Whether in trivial or heavy matters, I know you will not only give me peace, Lord, but you will be my peace. And when I draw close to you in prayer, in reading your word, in helping another, in taking my mind off myself, you will be there up close and personal. I know I can't handle these times alone, Lord. Speak peace and calm my storms. Hold my hand while we walk through them together. Thank you, Lord. I'm trusting you. I give you my thanks, God for the day that is ending, and thanks for the coming night. Bring sleep to the weary, 
bring repose to those I love, and give me rest until tomorrow. Be present, O Lord, and protect your children through the silent hours of this night, that we who are weary with the work and changes of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness. In this day that is ending, I have not been all that I should have been. Help me, my God, to be less harsh to myself, more truthful in speaking, more faithful in my promises, more active in my work, more obedient and more submissive to your will. Let me be cheerful too, and may tomorrow be a finer and fuller day than this. O God, who is the life of mortal men, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. I thank you for the timely blessings of the day and humbly beg for your merciful protection all this night. Bring me and my loved ones, I beseech you, in safety to the morning hours. Heavenly Father, to your goodness I commend myself this night, humbly asking for your protection through its darkness and dangers. I am helpless and dependent. Graciously preserve me. For all whom I love and value, for every friend and connection, I equally pray. However divided and far asunder, I know that we are alike before you. And under your eye, may we be equally united in faith and fear, in fervent devotion towards you, and in your merciful protection this night. Pardon, O Lord, the imperfections of these my prayers, and accept them through the meditation of your blessed Savior, Jesus Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Psalm 127 verse 2 In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat. For he grants sleep to those he loves. Matthew 11 verse 28 to 30 Come to me, all ye who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And now, let us pray. Heavenly Father, at this midnight hour, I choose to draw near to you in prayer and thanksgiving. Thank you for guiding me through the day, for the beauty of your light and for your love that chases after me. I know you hear my prayers and that I am not alone. I am also reminded that you came to be a beacon of light to my soul and an anchor to my drifting heart. Thank you that right now your holiness and everlasting kindness illuminates my heart, mind, and soul. So I choose to open my life to your warmth and protection. I lay before you every fear concerns and sorrow that I feel. I come before you as I am. Nothing is hidden from you, Abba Father. For I am safe in you, held by your grace, destined to live in heaven with you. Tonight, I claim your word that says in Proverbs 3 verse 24, When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. I call upon you, God, great master of the universe and creator of all things. You are my protector 
in you are my refuge. You are my fortress and the strong tower in which I dwell. I declare that I am your child, loved, accepted, that I live in your grace and stand upon your holy ground. I will fear no evil, for I live within your kingdom of light. And at this hour, your presence is within me by the power of the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, every night I stand by the promises contained in your word. In Psalms chapter 21 verse 1 to 4, I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Good God, I remind myself that remarkable things can happen when I pray to you in the darkest of the night. Paul and Silas prayed and worshipped in prison. A violent earthquake shook the ground and they both were free. I remind myself of the powerful night prayer Apostle Peter prayed when he was miraculously released from jail during the night as the early disciples prayed without season for him. All this happened in the silent hour of a night like this one. As I come to you, Lord, please inspire a midnight breakthrough in me. Help inspire a total peace of mind to forget all the troubles of the day as I lay my head in rest. Lord Almighty, may I reflect this wonderful heavenly glory. May I be a light bearer here on earth, a beacon to the lost, a lantern of hope to those in despair, and a flame of truth and justice to the broken world. Show me how to remain in you, flowing with your words, reflecting your heart and walking daily in forgiveness and grace. Thank you that in stillness of this hour, I know deep in my heart that I am your child. I am safe with you. Glorious Lord, your word says you will give your angels charge over me. I cannot sleep due to the worry created by my anxiety and fears. So please help me bring my troubles to you. You are the Redeemer who turns darkness to light, sadness to joy, and death to life. I choose not to allow any anxious thoughts overwhelm me, but instead, I will put all my worries at your feet. Your word says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and mind in Jesus' name. These words have I held in my heart through the day. So please take over my soul. Come over with your truth. Comfort me with your love. And let my heart be at peace with everyone who have offended me today. You know my worries and you care for my troubles. So I give these heavy concerns to you. I lay these situations at your feet. The empty cross is a place of rest where I can reflect upon your resurrection and the moment where love overcame the world. Thank you that your love in me can transform the landscape of my life. I walk with peace in the new day and put my hope in you. Nothing is outside of a redeeming love as I rest now in the knowledge that you will light my path and guide my life. 
help me to sift through the many experiences, feelings, and thoughts I have encountered through the day and allow myself to rest and wind down and be still. Help me to surrender to you my fatigue, my concerns, my hope and fears. As I sleep tonight, I choose to hold your hand. I choose to live with you. I choose to believe. I choose to trust in you. I choose you always. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.